Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to insert radio button value into database. So let's get started. So here, this is our basic card design. And now we'll just uh, make the form here. We'll just get it from getbootstrap.com. You have here. So just copy this design here and paste it in your card body. Make the alignment proper. And okay so now we'll add our uh, radio button here input type equal to radio and give the name as gender and value equals to one we'll keep one for male and just copy and paste the same thing just change the value to two and give the name as female so here we have given the name for this input type for radio let us give the name for the email and password as well. So we'll give here name equals to email. Instead of taking password, we'll take the name. We'll keep name here. So input type equal to text. And give name equals to name. So here we have email address, name, male and female we are just taking. So on clicking the submit button, so we have to give the name for this. Let's give submit btn. So once this button is clicked, it has to go to the code. So we'll write the code in a page called code.php. So first let us mention it here. First form action equals to code.php and method keep it post. Always remember guys, if you without giving this method as post, you will not be able to send data. So to send this data to this code.php, we have to use this method post. So now copy the button name and go to code.php. Here we have just included the DB here the connection it that is there here you can see so now just check if this button is set if this button is clicked it should go inside this condition if condition so now we'll give dollar underscore post of the button name paste it here so now once the button is clicked just we'll take the value first so dollar email equals to dollar underscore post of the email email give semicolon and then we will just take the name and gender also let's give dollar name and here we will give gender so for testing purpose first let us echo these things and check if it is if we are getting the data correctly or no so we'll just echo it here echo and now let us go to the output so here let us reload the page and here we have email address name and male and female so let us give email address as we'll give om at gmail.com and name will give just prakash and we'll check mail and we'll send so remember the uh, value for mail we had given one so on, cli on clicking the submit button, we got the email ID here and the pa name and the gender. So now we have to insert this in the database. So let's write the code for that. So remove all this echo here. So just make a variable called dollar $query and write your uh, SQL query inside the double quote. Write insert into table name. So let us check what is our table name here give localhost php my admin so here our table is php touch database and the table is student database student table so here we have name email and gender so to insert this we need the table name copy the table name and paste it here insert into students and mention the column names here first is we'll see what was the first column here name email and gender so first we'll give name, comma, email, comma, gender. And we'll give the values here, values. And within single quotes, put your variable names here, dollar name, comma, dollar email, and the gender, dollar, gender. So now to run this query, we have to write a func SQL function here. So we'll just create a variable 
dollar query run and type mysqli query function mysqli query just pass your connection here and your query variable here you just put it here dollar query and give semicolon so now we'll just check if this has successfully inserted or no so i'll give if dollar query run then echo inserted successfully else we'll give in the else part we'll just echo if there is some problem all right there was some errors so save it and now we have written the query to insert it in that database so let us check the output now we'll go reload the page and type your email address as home at gmail.com name let's give prakash and we'll give mail and we'll click submit inserted successfully so let us check it in our database just click on browse refresh and you got your data here gender now let us try for the other genders so let us reload the page now once again and here we'll give email address as lakshmi at gmail.com name will give lakshmi and we'll type here female and let us click submit inserted successfully go to your database and check so here gender is 2 is displayed and name and email is successfully inserted so in this video we have successfully seen how to insert radio button value into database so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching